Alrighty, everybody. This is the FPG Minecraft Tour. Woo! I've got with me today Laura on the Roof. That's me. Stormy Goxbox. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that. <laughs> Every time you log in, Stormy Goxbox. <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be Stormy Go Xbox, but you know, I'm okay with Goxbox. It <laughs> really has funny. a ring to it. Makes me think of Go. Uh, what is it? Go blocks. Go from Roblox. Yeah. Excuse me. From Rayman. <laughs> oh, Glowbox. 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 There we have it. We yeah. got there. Anywho, so yeah, this is our little little place here. We've been here for like a month, right? Yeah, uh, probably a little less than a month, but and Laura's been playing for like two days, <laughs> approximately three days altogether. Yeah, we um we just started a new realm and we're all playing on the same server. And we kind of just wanted to document before we got too crazy into it because uh, we're kind of doing this one for our channel. So mm -hmm. this is kind of our FPG server. Yeah. So Stormy and I started it basically, and we don't play every day necessarily, but we do play a lot. <laughs> we, You're kidding we play yourself. almost every almost day. every day, I would say. So this is like one month of progress. Um, yeah. So should we get started? Yeah, let's just have a little tour. All right, so I'm gonna switch to first person view here. Got my buds hanging out. So. This is basically, we're starting off by the dock. So if you came in from a neighboring seaside town, this is where you would enter the the city that we have here. And we'll go into the whole dock view below hand. But um, up here, basically the first thing you can see is the FPG billboard, which Stormy is on right now. <laughs> Just playing proudly. <laughs> yeah, I made this a, like two days ago, I think. Um I wanted something that was just kind of like to mark the city, like a big sign. Um, and I was going to light it with torches, but then you could see the torches. So then I put glowstone in the ground and put these little trap doors, trap doors over it. Um, it's pretty tall. Um, and yeah, it lights it up pretty good at nighttime. If we are still playing at night, I will show it to you then too, because it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Let's go into, like, the next finished area of the town. Again, we've only been playing for, like, a month, so. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this is our little Like, the entrance dock. to our dock, and also, like, we're trying to use some of the new blocks, so we got, like, the warped stuff going on and the copper blocks that are oxidized very nicely. Mm -hmm. Waxed them all up. Just kind of going with the same theme, color schemes and whatnot it's like hidden into the side of here a little bit and sometimes i walk this way and then i'm like oh shoot <laughs> the entrance is hidden over here yep but we just park our, <laughs> our boats over here i'm just trying to get into this boat y'all <laughs> you have to left click it oh, oh. bored profession there you go Later days! <laughs> wow, you go so fast. Yeah, yeah, boats are the way. So yeah, this will eventually be a bridge right here in my crosshairs. And then, what are you building here, Stormy? So I saw the movie Luca um, on Ooh. Disney Plus, and it was so cute. Um, but they also, it was like inspired by like the Italian Riviera, basically. Um, like... Um, the Amalfi Coast, and they have this really cute little port town, and I was going to create something kind of similar with, like, a fountain in the middle, mm. but it's very ambitious, and I need a lot more materials, and I sort of diverted my attention elsewhere, but I will come <laughs> mm. back to it um, in due time. I know exactly where your attention has been, <laughs> yeah. but we'll get to that. <laughs> um, yeah, nice little treasure. This is my first treasure map I ever found. I thought it was such a big deal. <laughs> I found, like, a lot more, but... Sunken sunken ships were a cool thing. I played Minecraft originally, like, like 2010 was, like, my prime Minecraft playing days. So we didn't even have that back then. But. But we back in it. Yeah. And then Stormy and I had a 
another world that we did together like a year ago. Yeah, we we like had a group server, just the two of us. Um, and we also did some like creative worlds and things like that together and mm-hmm. just uh, kind of got up to mischief. But we wanted to try a survival world and kind of like with the, the whole FPG crew. So, mm-hmm. so yeah. Um, back behind this billboard is the apiary. It's just a big glass enclosure with some bees and some flowers. And I love the bees in Minecraft. They are so cute. They They're like the cute. cutest mob. They're so round looking <laughs> for something made of blocks. <laughs> I love it. They do somehow make them look round and fat. They do. It's adorable. They're actually really big too. Um, and then... You kind of just get into, like, the pre-made village. So we spawned literally, like, 50 blocks from this village. But this is a zombie village, um, which I didn't really know about beforehand. But that basically means there's, like, spiders on, spider webs on everything. And it's deserted. Um, so we kind of just leveled it out. Uh, added in some animals into these fences that were already here. Added more crops into these farms. I think they only had like one or two crops at the time. Um, and then, yeah, recently I added a bunch of these mushrooms in as well. And I kind of carried them all over the farm. Nothing, and the town. nothing too spectacular because we, like, we've only been playing for a month, like we said. Yeah. And, um, I think you'll be surprised by a few things, though. <laughs> yeah, probably. But um, we kind of kept a lot of the village just because, yeah, we kind of went crazy in other areas mm-hmm, so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i feel like this village will continue to evolve majorly evolve um but for now it's it's a bit standard but mm-hmm. some fun areas and i think this will probably be like a player character village like i don't think we'll have villagers in here like i think this is just gonna be for like real character like yeah people who are playing to because we have kind Built of a the area. whole other area for, We've got a whole other <laughs> for a villager setup. trading situation. Yeah. So. so let's show y'all my house before this turns into a 30-minute video of just this area. Because we have a few <laughs> other areas, too. Yeah. Um, so my blinds and my shutters are all <laughs> turned up. So that's Jeez. prime example <laughs> of how Stormy pranks yeah, everyone. Exactly. She comes around to our flower pots and, and turns all of our trap doors to face the <laughs> wrong way. So rude. Um, but yeah, this is my house. Um, it was a villager house. I expanded it a little bit. Uh, <coughs> added this dark oak roof. I've got an axolotl aquarium over here, which actually only has one axolotl. I'm thinking that this um, enclosure might be a little too small because... Over time, steadily, the numbers of axolotl have decreased. Oh, I was going to say, weren't that. there two oh. yesterday? Yeah. Well, there were three yesterday. Oh, no. But I had four. I had a, a fourth yellow one. And the yellow one disappeared maybe a week ago. And then yesterday, I had two more. So today, two disappeared. Mm. Oh, no. That makes sense. Mine have actually been disappearing, too. And I just thought I was I was a negligent oh, pet owner no. and just maybe left a block out or oh, something. Man. So they don't have, like, a lifespan or anything well, like that, right? I still have one. No. no. But they did change some of the rules for axolotls in the most recent update. So I'm wondering if that has anything to do with it. Because I had three for a while. Um, and then now, suddenly, we're down to one. Mm. You gotta show me the inside. That is oh, yeah. devastating. <laughs> Duh. So I've got a horse out here too. Haven't built a stable yet, but that's coming. Um, Slum's crib. Come on in. I've got this jungle wood trap door up there from a something that had um, sunken in the ocean. But yeah, this is it. Got my record playing. Uh, this is Stormy's first gift to me. <laughs> she accused me of thievery, like, the first day. <laughs> We're a very prank. Well, I am a very pranky Minecraft player, okay? So I just, like, nothing malicious. Like, no no real griefing or anything like that. Just, like, silly signs and, like, leaving trap doors open and things like that. Uh-huh. So that's what we're dealing with here, folks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I don't have a lot. I've got a nice terracotta, f- terracotta, excuse me, terracotta floor that I just set up five minutes ago. Um, but everything else, 
is just basics, if you ask me. Which is fine. It's all um, you need for now. Yeah. We've barely got any time into this. And then I've got some chests in here. Um, yeah. And then a map of the world, which is really cool. Um, we will include in the description the number of our seed if you want to replicate this and see where we are. Um, but yeah, this is, this is what we're looking at here. Honestly, it kind of is annoying to be in the corner of the map um, as your spawn, but whatever. And we'll get a bunch more maps filled in and then we won't be in the corner. All right, so should we do LT's house next? Yep, it's on the way. Woo! Coming on down to LT town. <clears throat> Got a nice little scarecrow storm we just made. Yeah. Okay. Spooky. Now I did just make this last night. Yeah, Laura made this whole house last night. She had another base that was up on that hill. <laughs> yeah, we, don't, see it. we don't have to talk about that one. <laughs> and she abandoned it last night and made this brand new house. Look, it was an eyesore. We all knew it wasn't gonna work out, but you were being generous and letting me try. But anyway, I started from scratch and Summer helped me put together this roof, which was one of the more frustrating, mm -hmm. um, like 30 minutes of my life. Roofs are mm -hmm. annoying in Minecraft, but. I've also only personally ever played in creative. So having to go find and make <laughs> everything was like, I understand that's the point of the game, but. <laughs> so yeah. Ooh. Oh, gorgeous exterior. I left Laura a um, a hilarious prank. So you should, uh... Where is this? Where? No, it's in the basement. Oh, my God. <laughs> I haven't okay. even noticed it yet. So we're entering nice checkerboard floor. <laughs> oh, she's already framed some stuff up here. Nice little carpet here. That's my red carpet. Going into the basement. I like the slab floor here. <gasps> she's creeping. What have you done? Is oh. it this chest? Yeah, it's, it's in, in the it. chest. Yeah, it's... Oh. Okay. So we I'm have I'm going to pull a, it out. Yeah. Oh. We'll pull it out and give it a read. Okay, nice little book here. It, it was kind of a joke because um she... We made the server like a month ago and she hasn't <laughs> logged in a, a bunch of times, right? So I was kind of just waiting for the day she would return. <laughs> now, my first question, oh did you type all of this in I on did. your Switch? I did, I absolutely did. No so, keyboard. Nope. I put a lot into my pranks, okay? So. <laughs> you know, how long did this take you? And so many did characters. You all of these pages? Oh, no, wow, you went to page know. four. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's, let's do, do you want to read it? No, it's all you. Go, okay. Go for it. All right. Day 87. <laughs> I've stumbled upon a so lively absurd. village. Kind farmers have aided my weary soul with hearty <laughs> veg. My spirit has been renewed. I will make camp in this empty shack. Day 102. The village is thriving. Happiness <laughs> is ever present. Many days pass. Day 177. <laughs> Monsters draw near. I fear I do not have long to record this. The villagers are running. Some have changed color. I am frightened. Day question, 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 <laughs> because we just don't know anymore. I'm becoming mush. I green. <laughs> like grass, brain, leaving. Words hard. Bye-bye. We'll sleep here now, forever. <clears throat> and then, you know, know, unintelligible. a quick hyperlink <laughs> to the Minecraft wiki. And then, I've never liked flying, but it's different when you don't have a body. The village has been quiet for so long now. I miss its glamour. The drama. The I drama. wonder if any new explorers will find this place. Why? I have hope for that day. Just signing their certain death. My God, Stormy. Well, and then I, I put uh, I put rotten flesh in the chest, <gasps> and those were the only two things in the chest. Oh, I wondered, but I was like, where did this rotten flesh go? I didn't even like, realize totally what it was the for. Laura totally missed the connection. She didn't read it. Well, I didn't read it. I was like, what's this glowing thing? Anyway. And then I, put a, a I put a sign on her house, too, that said, uh, ghost house for sale, contact storm. That's amazing. <laughs> See, I just thought that was a that was just a to, more subtle can... dig about how I haven't played. <laughs> it, it kind of, it started that way, and then it was like, no, I'm gonna craft a whole story. <laughs> There's gonna be it. lore. Yeah, there's gonna be lore. There's lore to our 
server now. So, so I think if you get a podium, you can put a book on it, right? Yeah. You mm-hmm. need a lantern. Uh, a le- lectern? lectern? Not a lantern. Yes. <laughs> a lectern. You should Good. definitely do that, Laura. Okay. So well, that would be, first of all, I need sticks. For the lore, so. <laughs> for the <laughs> for lore the, of your character the lore. <laughs> that you didn't even write, but. <laughs> uh, yep. Congratulations. In some ways, you're I did. A, you're a zombie secretly. You don't even know it. All right. Okay. Time um, for oh, wait. Bud's house. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh. Go to my oh, mushroom ceiling. Oh, did she just go up into that mushroom? Well, that's it. Just real quick. Just to. I have built it into this mushroom. And wow. this little hangout up here. It's Kept lighting little... myself on fire last yeah. night. Mushroom I, I, I saw it with my own two eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Hold on. How do I get up. down here? Let's... I'm going to try and get <laughs> all of us in here without setting myself on fire going backwards. Partying in the lounge. Mush lounge. <laughs> Mush lounge. <laughs> I love it. Okay. All right. Adios. Adios. We're playing on peaceful at the moment, yeah. So pretty much fall damage means nothing yeah. to me. So up the way, here's my house. Um, <laughs> this is a very temporary house, I'll just say that. And then Laura pranked me back. Also, this is a <laughs> sign that she left me. Um, <laughs> to haunt you, it's ghost. So oh, no, LT is ghost. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's ghost. ghost. <laughs> <laughs> LT's ghost, yeah. excuse me. Yeah. Wow. I know, amazing. So come Incred. on in. Uh, it's super basic. I'm I'm sort of like a very utilitarian mm. player um, until like uh, I, disagree. I I like get started on something, then it gets out of control. But like mm. my my hub is a lot of times just like what I need. Yeah. The only thing is, uh, we we found a few geodes, and the new amethyst block is musical, and I had to put it everywhere, so that's why it's basically everywhere, because I, I just love the sound, and then, like, kind of like summer, I just love the axolotls, mm-hmm. but they have been disappearing as well, so I, I, we've got to find a way. I only see one up there, of- and I have, like, ten, so. Yeah. Beautiful though. So, yeah. I mean, and we both have the place. same color now. That's kind of annoying. I know. I, I realize that it's kind of hard to tell, especially like if you're coming in from the ocean or something mm-hmm. where you're at. So I might. I'm, I have big plans for my hub area, my house, but more to come. I didn't. I did put an elevator in because mm-hmm. let's just go take a look. Um, because I dug out a basement. Come on down. Wait, how do it? Whoa! Down. That's right. I forgot about this. This is oh, so wow. cool. I thought it was flooded at first. I was like, oh. what happened? Nope. Uh, it looks like you are underwater for a second. Just wait. <laughs> uh, yeah. So again, it's pretty utilitarian. It's incredibly ugly. Just kind of a big hole at the moment. It's disgusting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think the framework is interesting. And I like how it sort of just leads out into uh, the ocean is right there mm-hmm. with the like little inlets. So I'm going to do something over there. Mm-hmm. And then um, there's a lot of land out here. And you can see my house is kind of up on that Ridge, hill. Yeah. So I can like build all that out. And it's going to look really nice <clears throat> once I uh, kind of put my mind to it. But... I've just been working on other things, so. Yeah, Yeah, this is kind of prime real estate, though. It's a great spot. Yeah, as soon as I saw that on the ridge there, I was like, ooh, yeah, Mm -hmm. snap that up. Build down into that. And I also have this staircase down here, so I can go down either way. A lot of times, honestly, I just hop off the edge into the pond because you don't take (laughs) fall damage that way either, so. uh, It's kind of fun. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so then uh, just got some farm and some animals and... Uh, we went on an expedition, found some mushrooms, and mm-hmm. just kind of chilling a, back here. That was a journey. It was. It was we probably almost, well, hundreds, thousands of blocks away. I don't yeah. know. It was far. It was far. Yeah. Lovely. I love it. Quite the base. So, tally ho. Now we will go to the nether. Which... Laura just saw for the first time last night. I haven't really seen too much of it either, so this will be like, like she's semi new to me. She knows what the nether is, but she hasn't seen our nether hub. Okay. Yeah. 
I came out sideways, which is ridiculous <laughs> for the viewers here. But this is essentially what you see when you walk mm -hmm. through. Um, and well, this is well, all well. calcite. We do still have our scaffolding up there, so we'll have to Yeah, we're actually... That. So it, when we did the scaffold, <laughs> I was doing the ceiling, and um, I made the scaffolding. And then I was like, you know, it's kind of a cool shape, though. And mm -hmm. so then I was thinking that it, we would fill it in with crying obsidian because then it drips all that purple stuff, too. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is, like, crying obsidian is a little hard to come by. Yeah. <laughs> so for now, we're just kind of leaving our netherrack up there as a dripping. like a blueprint i guess uh and once we get more crying obsidian we'll fill it in anywhere you see netherrack is basically um just kind of like a blueprint for whatever is to come you can see like the other pillar we didn't finish that one either so it's just yeah, kind of this is the main pillar right where here. it will be please We're pardon build the another. construction <laughs> yep. identical pillar to this one right here going all the way up um and we're, like, on a floating platform. You can see down there. There's more stuff. But it's a long way up, folks. I will tell you that. <laughs> I did all of these walls by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually so caught it, honestly. Amazing. Yeah, I was actually at work. <laughs> and it was really slow, and nobody was coming in. I think it was raining, and I did <laughs> all rain. of these walls. It's, it's, it's pretty tall. It's extremely tall. Like, almost could kill you on Peaceful. Yeah, Which is yeah. impressive. Um, but yeah, put some vines on this portal. Candles along here. Um, and let's go down the stairs and check the rest of this out, because this is just kind of a landing area. Yep. We can get down here and things get a little bit spookier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not, not like they weren't already spooky. <laughs> um, this really cool layered glass thing looks like fog. Yeah, it's kind of a cool layered effect. And then just like a, I put the respawn anchor there, um, just cause it's we just need it, right? So um, <laughs> <laughs> we we just really needed it somewhere. And then I, it just looked, cause you can't center it. Um, yeah. You know, so then I was like, well, it looks lonely. I'll just, I'll just put a crying obsidian. obsidian with the candle, with the new candle. Perfect. So. It, yeah. Looks like it belongs there. It looks yeah. like it's one machine. <laughs> How'd you get a candle? Uh, they're new, so you can make them with, I think it's um, string and wax. Wax. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I guess that makes sense. From the <laughs> that is honeybees. literally a candle. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And yeah. we've got tons of string with all the cobwebs in our village, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are they always the same color? Or can you dye them? Or no, you yeah. can dye them, like, uh, I think 16 different colors. <gasps> Tight. Ooh, so that's going to be... can be very... Yeah. yeah. I'm going to make my house real Subtle witchy. differences. Got some of these... What are these hanging red vines called again? I can't remember. <sighs> I, I, I don't remember either. I can climb them. I, th I just thought they were cool. It's part Could. of the newer nether stuff. Um, I see. say newer, but it's not super new. Oh, it's just stuff that I really didn't get to use when I played before. They're called weeping vines. Weeping vines. Found in the nether. So many mm. things are weeping. Hanging from the trees in the red yeah. biome. And then we've got <coughs> Stormy's Sorry. nether bedroom. Do you want to give us a tour? Yeah. Oh, your skin is gone. Do you oh, want to no. no. switch it up? Oh, I hate it. It was just there. there. I hate when that happens. <laughs> You're naked. So you look ugly. like Steve. Oh, there you okay. go. I'll take that one. I'll take it. I'll take it. Right. <laughs> OG. Okay. Alex. Yep. Okay. So this, yeah, this I is, love this, room. this is my nether bedroom. So I just felt like I wanted uh, my own space and then I dug out a space for some over there and then we can make one for LT as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so I just needed a space to like put all my storage and maybe some potions or whatever. Um, so that's why I kind of dug this out really quickly. Then I was going to put a book here. Um, I don't know. My thought was like... <laughs> Another lore book? Yeah, so, something <laughs> something over here. And then I put my crafting table, but I put little um, trap doors on it just because uh, the crafting table, it, did, it didn't, just didn't fit with the vibes. Yeah. So uh, I just went for something really purple and blue, which is all the new blocks um, for the nether. Mm -hmm. um, just pretty cool. And then yeah. I made a little bedroom here. Mm -hmm. Woo! 
Love and I, it. I went with the same colors, but just a different <laughs> style. So I got the um, concrete. So I got the cyan concrete on the roof and in this like little wall here. And then I did the glazed cyan terracotta with some glowstones. Um, and then I made like a little bed because um, if you don't know, beds um, from the overworld, they explode in the nether if you try to sleep in them. Um, Whoa, I did not know that. So I made a fake bed so that I just never try to click on it and it explodes. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just blocks. Yeah, it's just, blocks. it's just blocks. So you can't sleep in it, but you, you can't do that anyways. So, I mean, it's really just for... For fun. I for love this painting. You got the best one just, possible. I truly. got such a, an amazing painting. Uh, Especially for the theme <laughs> of this room, too. Like, it's the perfect yeah. colors. Everything is excellent. It's so good. Uh, man, I love it. Just wild. I what love a blessing. it. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of the hotel rooms in yeah. Super Mario Sunshine. Okay, yeah. Oh, Just yeah. the layout of it for some reason. Yeah. Maybe that. it's because it's like a little love bit that for me. 70s. I don't mm-hmm. know. It I just literally just gives me those got vibes. to that part yeah. in that game as oh, well. Oh, and then I'm using the new azalea bushes too, oh, which you yeah. can pot put now. in a flower pot. So they're, <laughs> they're so cute. And then I, I like, kind of want to put something here, but I don't know what to put here yet. So hmm. we'll see. Could be a cool closet or something. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And then over in this room, I just, um, I don't have a brewing stand yet, but this is where I'm going to put my brewing stand and then. So spooky in here. Um, just kind of got my nether board growing and. Yeah. So once I got my potions up and going, this is where I'm going to be brewing up some stuff. And yeah. it still is doing like the blue and purple thing, but I wanted it to be a bit more like spooky. No, yeah. I love the colors of these blocks. I'm really excited to go back to the blue area and the nether and get some more because Mm -hmm. the color of them is just so pretty and i love how the when these um wood blocks are standing up it looks like the color is like climbing on them yeah it's so creepy yeah it's pretty cool and i love that they have like they're all very patterned um Mm -hmm. which we have like a lot of solid blocks in the game yeah and to have like a little bit kind of crazier patterns i guess especially a colored pattern not right. like brown pattern. Yeah. yeah, and you can make them into like what what I would like kind of consider cool wallpaper, basically. Right. Yeah, I'd put that in my yeah. real house for so sure. It's just like a cool way to decorate. I love so, it. Yeah, this is my like little little bedroom start on everything. But so cool. It's fun. And you guys want to see mine? <laughs> Ooh, buddy, let's take a look. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> here we go. It was actually... This is very long, endless cool. hallway. Yep. The hallway used to end at this crafting table. <laughs> so Today, a lot. I made it longer. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's all we've got. For now. For now. Um, <laughs> our current minecart path, too, passes through right here. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm going to make this, I think, into glass so mm-hmm. you can see it pass by. Which Whoever. would be really cool. Ooh, that's yeah. cool. But nothing has been done <laughs> yet. I'm not as big into the nether as Stormy is. So. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, the shocking. reason that I like it is because, one, it's, like, a little bit creepy. But, two, I think the nether is so ugly. Mm-hmm. Like, the general area of the nether, it's just, like, so despicable. <laughs> <laughs> like, the new areas that they added, the new biomes, like, the warped areas and the, and that kind of... Um, even, like, the soul sand type areas, those are cool, but... This netherrack, it's just like the worst mm. color, the worst texture. It's just, and so anytime I can make something um, look like it doesn't belong in the nether, but still like maybe with the creepy vibe, um, I just like to do that because just like the challenge. Yeah, I guess so. And also like if you're out on an expedition in the nether, it's it makes things so easy to find. Yeah, that it makes is true. wayfinding back to where you your base or wherever you need to go your portal it makes it so much easier so yeah yeah this regular just red nonsense here looks like the inside of somebody's lungs or something it's super <laughs> gross your red yeah. blood cells at work yeah exactly yeah. and then then the uh, sound you make when you run over it's all just so nasty <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i know there's a lot of awful sounds in the nether <laughs> yeah exactly. just in general exactly well, you've made it enchanting. Um, should we ride in the we carts? We definitely should ride in the carts. All right, so this chest here has some mine carts in it. I made more today. So, LT, go ahead and grab one. 
and then we'll go one after. I want you guys to go ahead of me so I can see. Okay. You. I'll let her go first. So you'll just have to <laughs> Not even place it on the track. I'm really sure how to use it. So just mm. place it on the track with L, and mm. then hop into it with L, and, and then, then press. Just, oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> okay, well. Let's destroy it before it gets too far. <laughs> Chimney. Oh. Okay, one more time. Yeah. <laughs> Pick up that one, LT. You said get into it with L. Yeah. But now I'm on, Okay, now go. Now press L. Left click. There and now go. press forward. Woo! Yep! Yeah. And keep holding forward. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh. Whoa! Alrighty. We're all poop. I didn't hit my stride, y'all. <laughs> Did you want me to jump out? I had to bump you and then I got bumped back. It's oh, okay. Sorry. I'm going, oh, I'm going. This must have taken forever. It did take a while. <laughs> And, you know, finding out the path of least resistance for these <laughs> minecart tracks are key. Yeah. yeah. Because you want them to be protected from the overworld mobs. Um, so you want them to be enclosed. You don't want these out in the oh. open. Like, you might. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? Jump out of your cart. Press A. Where'd what you go? I don't know. What? You must have hit the end and then. She hit me. I don't um, know what happened. Did you keep going? Am I supposed to We're get normally, off? That's yeah, the yeah. Well, well, normally, I couldn't see where it was going. Yeah. I can't anticipate where we it We get ends. off up here normally. <laughs> it, it, it hits here and then you just hop out. Or we else it goes a different back. System, I but guess so. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I haven't rent, ridden the mine carts with <clears throat> multiple people before. Yeah. yeah well, I, we, I assumed it just ended. We just <laughs> carved out a new path, too, that's like a bit less... Um, windy. Up and down and windy, but... Yeah, because it's hard to follow. It, it's really just... It, We've done nothing other than just the single line to the new path, so yeah. that will probably be in our next update as well. It'll be a lot faster, too, because yeah. it won't be up against the wall. That was super fun, though. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, we built this um, path specifically to get to our trading village. Um, and let's just pop through and see what we see, what we see out there. Um, this village initially... It was just a normal village. Oh, and it's nighttime. Should we should we make it day? Yeah, probably so. I guess the visit. We do have cheats enabled. Out and about. So let's make it. Yeah, daytime. I want to see some people. Oh, be yeah, we decided to use cheats. Another thing too is just because the achievements on we're obviously we're playing together on the switch we're not playing on pc so the achievement system on the switch it's not um the same as the pc and it just doesn't feel as worthwhile and so mm -hmm. um you know this isn't really like a hardcore world or anything <laughs> like that this is just our <laughs> you know like family channel server so um hang out yeah just like our Builds hangout like building time and stuff so yeah so was, we, the only cheats that we have used at this point is just like um, day cycles and um, weather weather cycles. We teleported a little bit too. Yeah. So, I mean, I know some people don't like that or whatever, but this really isn't. Um, it's just not that kind of server. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fine. Yeah, it's just a fun server. So. Yeah, they don't have to play with us. How do I get off of this giant cliff? <laughs> you jump off. You'll For live. real? You'll live. Are you sure? I'm positive. Oh, it's so high. You can do it. I'm afraid of heights, even in fake. Oh. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a normal village. Yeah. Little village, like pre-generated little houses and stuff. Um, and then <laughs> this we monstrosity. created something here. <laughs> okay. Do that is fort? unnatural. Okay, before, I haven't seen this yet. Before, also before judging, here's the thing. Here's before the, you judge us. Before you judge it. <laughs> We know it's ugly. It's it's incredibly ugly. It's got dirt walls, my friends. It's so ugly. It's an eyesore for sure. It's function over form. But we have big plans for this. We yeah. have been gathering materials, um, and we just wanted to coagulate the uh, villagers, <laughs> if you will, into one area. I'm to, sorry. To keep them safe. Are they prisoners? Well, is that what's happening here? Well, they have a nice life. <laughs> okay? okay? They are protected from I the understand. beasts of the land. Exactly. It's for their protection, first oh, and foremost. These stupid bushes. Why do you keep putting them everywhere? They're poisonous. I got great, great view of that. <laughs> stupid. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we know it's ugly. Okay. But it's we're it's just to keep the villagers in there safe while we're collecting materials. Uh, me and Summer talked about basically our plan for this area is to build basically the Grand Budapest Hotel from the movie. The Grand Budapest Hotel. Mm-hmm. Um, Classic. But, but we call it, we, like our nickname for each other, we call each other Bud. And so it's going to be the Grand Budapest Hotel. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know. It, just, it. it just tickles me pink. It's, just, it's so to stupid. Think about. That's the worst. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid, stupid <laughs> but it makes me laugh. Uh, yeah. Um, so basically, we've just been gathering an intense amount of pink wool. Yes. So. <laughs> to make the Grand oh, Budapest Hotel. Oh, I guess it is your yeah. pink. That's it's incredibly going to be really cute. So we escorted villagers into this area. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I don't even remember the process of, of that. I think it was simple. We removed all of their beds and just put them in the new place. <laughs> and they just walked and over there. And they just walked right over. Perfect. They, so they love them solve. Yeah. <laughs> they love it. They're like, uh, yes, we would rather sleep on our beds <laughs> than in the wilderness. <laughs> well, you know, like, I've seen so many, like, elaborate mine cart uh, and boat riding villagers. And, and all we just did was just move their beds. And mm-hmm. it, it worked great. Yeah, I, I guess wasn't if, far. If you're moving the them, yeah, like, thousands of blocks, right. you probably do need a mine cart. They'd they probably yeah. give up on their they beds used to after live a minute. Right over here. So they just walked over. Yeah. It wasn't a big deal. Um, I made sweet berry bushes to protect <laughs> down there, and all it does is capture llamas. I will say <laughs> that we are on peaceful and we have been for a little bit, so understandable. Uh, not much else to catch, but um it's weird. Yeah. And there's well, no trader. The other thing There is, probably used to be, but this village, uh, it generated like really poorly uh the terrain yeah. it was not leveled at like at all so it was all over the place and basically this village was just a total loss to us so we figured we would just collect the villagers and turn this whole thing into like villager trading which is obviously one of the most <clears throat> useful it's probably one of the best ways to get some of the best items in the entire game yeah and survival so it it's super important um and we also want it to look good eventually. That's yes. why we have this uh, Grand Budapest Hotel plan. <laughs> but but really obviously like- the main concern is security for these folks because <laughs> the slightest splinter will kill them. So we had to enclose them for their own safety. Um, yeah. But you will see a thriving community inside. Let's all let's all join. So I really like out. these random floating. Like you obviously took all the bricks from the house. And <laughs> yeah. So it's yeah. just roofs I know. and doors Still floating in the air. Yep. Yep. It's incredible. Anyway, I'm coming. So yeah, villagers cannot walk through fence gates. So we have a fence gate around <laughs> the doors. <laughs> oh my God. Out. They're trapped. They y'all. cannot leave, but they <laughs> would die out there. So what? No. Nope, nope. Oh, there's a gate. I was like, hello. <laughs> And then make sure you always yeah. close it. Oh, oh Stormy, closed. your um, skin is gone again. <laughs> oh, my God. This game, I She's swear. a Steve. There's cats in here. Yes, there are cats in here. There you go. Okay. Cool. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we've got all kinds of villagers. So and, many. And this one over here, it's, uh, we kind of secluded him because he is trading for mending. His trade isn't very good, but it's the only one we have so far. So. Oh, I didn't even see that that was happening. Yeah, so he's he's our special one because we really is. need mending. Mm-hmm. Um, but his trade is kind of bad for emeralds. it. 32 emeralds. 32 emeralds and a book for mending. Uh, it's not good, but we need it. Look at them it. all staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Do you have something to say? Oh my gosh. Also, um, the sound isn't on right now, but there very well could be an alarming door slamming sound that happens for infinity. <laughs> yeah. Why? I've heard it. I've heard it. It's terrifying. But I think it's just because there's so many villagers trying to use the door at the same time <laughs> that it's just like, <laughs> like like the door slamming over and over yeah. and over and over. The thunder is roaring. Yeah. It is alarming. Um, so this is basically hostel set up until we get the real hotel running. Yeah. Um, beds are just hanging out. <laughs> it's not a hotel yet. It's just a hostel. It's just a hostel. Uh, We're working on the yeah. upgrade. <laughs> Look at their little farm they got here. Barely even, half a step right here. They've got half a step going up. <laughs> <Half a step. laughs> 
Uh, um, but we got more beds up here. And I tried to put, I think there's 20 beds total. So in theory, an iron golem could spawn. Um, What's that now? Well, see, that's the thing. We'll show you that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they, they protect the village and they spawn when there's 20 villagers. So, um, another thing that spawns is cats when there's villagers around. So. There's a really cute one over here. Yeah, this is, this is the horse that I got for you for your, this continent, Laura. Oh, yay! <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, there's all kinds of villagers. There's a nice little farm over here. Look at this Multiple farmers cat. staring at me. <laughs> Um, we've got bees across the way, and I have it set up so they have to cross over the crops and pollinate them as they go to the flowers. So they help the crops. Um, and then we've got all of our pink wool for the Grand Budapest Hotel. Um, these are just the free roaming ones. We've got a <laughs> we've got a setup. So the free I, I, roaming I, ones. She calls well, them. I made an... literally can't move. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to these poor fellows, though, you have to admit they're living the great <laughs> Look life. Look how fast they roam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so then uh, to the side of them, uh, not free roaming ones. Are they special you somehow? Say they're, they're not, not They're not roaming. special, but they. I set up an auto shearing system with uh, redstone. So if you go down into this trap door. <gasps> no way. Um, mm -hmm. It. It auto shears them anytime they grow wool. So the second they grow wool, they are automatically sheared. Um, Whoa! Look at all that wool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we got quite the collection and happening, um, and you can see the minecart hopper picks it up and then puts it into, uh, or the mine the minecart. Yeah, the minecart hopper puts it into the hopper, then it puts it into this chest. So all I have to do is come down here for it. The problem is, wow. um, honestly. Uh, with only two in the auto shearing system, it's kind of just faster to shear all the sheep and then, you know, do Throw it yourself, kind of. Too. But I think if I were to AFK, um, oh yeah, I think that would be faster. Um, just depends. What's that mean? Away from computer. Yeah. So or if keyboard. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I just um, stand there um, and put my switch down and oh, go do other I see. things, it'll auto shear it. So I'm not doing anything but standing there. The problem is like you have to be there uh, for it to do that Nearby. because it's loading your chunk basically. And so it'll only make things, like <clears throat> if you have a machine that's built, you have to be nearby for it to even like run it essentially. Wow. Like my uh, farm that I have set up all the way in our spawn village, like nothing is happening there right now unless right. I go over there. I see. Um, so I don't, I honestly don't AFK that much, so. I did it once um, and I've not done it since, but I probably will more. Um, this um, this farm down here too, uh, it's a sugar cane farm because Laura our- Laura and her cat. <laughs> I've just been staring at this cat for the past like, five minutes. Our it loves me. It does, it's so, and the candy corn eyes. So cute. Um, Gorgeous. This is our sugarcane farm. It's super simple. Um, not, not like I used to have in, a, in our other world, I made a zero tick sugarcane farm, mm. uh, which was excellent. But this one is just sort of a, it, you know, it's using observers. So the second that it gets that tall, it chops it down. It's another AFK farm, really. It, it is incredibly slow. It's almost not worth it. I'm about to tear it down and try to do something. <laughs> well, only yeah. 21. A bit better. Um, but I was I started it in an effort to try to get um, paper and books um, just for, Staring like, villager it. trades. Um, but it's too slow. I think I'm going to have to go with something better. Um, if also, we were here all the time, it might be better. But. Yeah. And I, another thing is, uh, I didn't come up with any of these farm designs. Mm. I, I used tutorials on YouTube and um, I couldn't tell you which one I used because uh, I just like watched the video, followed along with it and, and um, you know, put it up. If I can find it, I'll link it below mm -hmm. um, in this video. But honestly, if you go, if you just, uh, not Google, if you YouTube, like, sugarcane farm Minecraft. Yeah. That, um, I specifically wanted work, one that worked on 1.17 and one that worked on bedrock. And same with the auto shearing farm. So if you just type that into YouTube, their search results, um, you should find what you're looking for. Yeah, the biggest key is making sure you have one that works with your version. Other than that, just follow the instructions. There's a million versions 
mm-hmm. for each for each kind of farm. So yeah, Laura and her pig. I'm just, just making, making friends, friends, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, there's um, one more thing in this area. If you guys want to follow me, speaking of farms, um, I actually never built a farm in Minecraft before, like a automated farm until now. Um, so naturally I picked the easiest and the most simple of any farm in Minecraft, which is the iron farm. Y'all want to follow? Jeez. Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go again. Here we go again. I didn't realize you'd uh, set up a Minecraft. rail. Yeah. yeah. Just because it's a little bit out. It's 100 <laughs> blocks out from the... Here we go. Here we go. What's all these cats for, you might wonder. <laughs> wow, all these cute little cats all sitting around. No no purpose at all. Oops. Well, that's because we're at the iron farm, folks. Um, it is huge. It is massive. Um, it was no one day undertaking. Um, building the platform, easy. I even had to rebuild it because I got the specs wrong. That was still... That was still easy. Um, you get up in here, it's 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 nuts. Oh, I actually just got myself in the water. Oh no. I'll be fine. Are you okay? I've done this so many times. Okay. Um, oh, I do need more water though. Does anyone have a bucket of water? No. I have a bucket. <laughs> Is it empty? I put it yeah. right where it spawns. Oh no. Why do you all just carry around water? Here's Is there water on here? Yeah, there's some right here. I'll get some. Help me out, will you? <laughs> Okay. I destroyed my own farm. Where TF are you? Oh, wow. There we have it, folks. <laughs> Operational Iron Farm. Uh, let's make it daytime so we can see if we can get something to show up here. Because it has to be. Day. Um. So how this works is basically... Oh, there he goes. Yeah, right there. <laughs> iron Golem. So you need 20 villagers for your Iron Golems to spawn, and that creates an Iron Farm for you. All of the villagers' beds hovering above the trap. Um, oh, my. I had to create huge dirt colonies of villagers here and herd them up one by one into these single block capsules. <laughs> Inside each capsule, there are five villagers working hard day and night to provide you with the iron you need to get your day done. Yeah, this just continues to get darker and darker in yeah. ways that I could never have imagined. <laughs> it's surprising. Yeah. It took me a long time, to say the least, m- many days, like at least three or four, like real time days. Um, just because, I mean, I don't play as much as I would like oh, to. Oh, there goes another one. Yeah. So they spawn pretty they frequently. Just walk straight um, into the fire. Well, they're like aided by the water. The water's like flowing down. So you ha- it's the it's like a current. You can't. Yeah, it just pushes them down in. Basically. So basically, you don't want to fall into this water. Yeah, because <laughs> you'll die. <laughs> okay. Here. Yeah, there's another one. Yeah, so it spawns pretty well. You yeah. can definitely AFK here and get some good results. Yeah, so it spawns um, iron golems. It would spawn cats as well that would fall into this trap. Mm. The key is you have to tame them all and keep them in the space. So that's why there's a thousand cats. And, and during a point, there were cats that were falling into the trap, and I would run in and try to save them, and I actually did get a couple that way. Um, I would have a fresh salmon on, on hand and just run in. Um, <laughs> Suddenly, and, they and can try to, the current. And try to make blocks that would stop them from getting hurt. But it all comes down here. <laughs> and this is where all my little... <laughs> My little rescues from the trap are. Aww. And there's a little iron golem. There's a little Siamese one. Say goodbye. Rip. We've got 47 iron in here. They also generate poppy, red poppies as well, which, which is, is good for dye. Yeah, it's wow. excellent. And you can see, like, there's another one there right now. So yeah. the spawn rate is really good. And I'm pretty sure, like, we just pulled a lot of iron from this. Oh, yeah. So I don't get iron anymore. Yeah, this is pretty fresh. Um, so if you need any at all, this is... Uh, it was really helpful. It really works in in 1.17.10. <laughs> Just updated. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really useful farm because you'll never run out of tool materials again. All you'll need is wood. And I'm sure there's wood farms as well if you were to need that. But 
I don't mind chopping down a tree from time to time. But that's basically it, folks. <laughs> Just these floating capsules of doom. <laughs> floating hells. They will work for eternity. Wow. Well, back in that my is day. basically it, folks. Let's, Let's head back. Gather over here. Do you want to head back? Let's head back. Okay. Alrighty, folks. Well, that was the tour. Um, I hope you guys liked it. It's not completely done by any means, but it is getting there. About a month of work, so if you liked it, like, subscribe, um, let us know what you'd like to see. Hopefully in the future, uh, this will be a server that'll be available for other people, so if that's something that you'd be interested in joining us, uh, for sure let us know. And, yeah, that billboard is starting to light up. As night falls. Beautiful. All right, bye. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you for watching. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon.